there they go. Welcome back to RaceNews.com. I'm Magic, and today we're taking a closer look at the featured race at Gulfstream Park on Saturday, March 12th. That's the Captiva Island Stakes, a field of eight older fillies and mares sprinting five furlongs on the turf. And when you hear Gulfstream Park and you hear turf sprint, there's only one place to go. That's right here with Mike Samich. Mike, this is a fun field that we were just talking about before we started recording. What do you think about it? Well, first off, Captiva Island, like one of my favorite places in the world. It's right next to Sanibel Island. Sanibel Island probably is my favorite place in the world. So <laughs> love that I get to cover this race. And, and you mentioned it, uh, you know, field of eight, seven horses that could win this race. Very, very competitive race. The inside is uh, probably going to be your longest shot on the board. Doesn't have a great chance in here. But the other seven are all very interesting. Um, you know, two of them have been facing each other the last two times, Miss Amulet and Miss Jay McKay. We're going to take a look at a replay in a second here. Before we do that, I just want to make sure I'd mention how deep this field is. I mean, Toby's Heart, La Liberté, they both have a shot in here, um, as does AP or AG Indy and Headline Hunter. So I think there's legitimately five or six horses that you could pick from here. Um, but to me, the, the two horses that kind of keep banging heads and have raced a golf stream are probably going to be your shortest two prices on the board in Miss J. McKay and Miss Amulet. Um, I'm personally going to, after watching the replay back of last race, I'm going to go to Miss J. McKay, who I think can flip the script here. So a lot of times when I'm looking at replays, you got to look at the, the horses that are involved here. So the six horse here is going to be Miss Amulet, the two horse Miss J. McKay. So when we hit play here, let's watch those two horses. Miss Amulet from the six post gets out very well. It's going to be able to cross over and get the lead. Now right here, watch the two horse absolutely slam on the brakes, Oof. go from fourth all the way to last. And so all of a sudden you have a major advantage for your, your uh, I think, a second choice in this race, Miss mm -hmm. Amulet, who's on the lead. The seven horse here is 33 to one. So getting some token pressure from, from cheap speed. But they end up going 22 and four. And you can see by the, the chicklets down there that the two horse is all the way in the back. So you have the six horse controlling the pace up front. You have the two horse, who was 80 cents on the dollar favorite, having to go four or five wide here. And notice no one else makes up any ground in this stretch. Right. The rails are out, so it makes it a little tougher for the horses up front. The two gets floated four wide there and it's going to come rolling late to get up to third, but never has a chance it's your winner. This is the tale of two trips. We've got a lot of speed side on. The six horse is not getting a 22 and four <laughs> opening pace here. And the two horse isn't going to have to come from the absolute clouds to be able to make up the ground. So um, when I watch this replay, I think those two horses are logically horses that you can flip. So for me, I'm going to take Miss J. McKay here uh, and hope that she can kind of flip the script on Miss Amulet. I'm going to watch this again. Just Man, that is just – I mean, it's not just she checked. It looked like she almost fell over too. It's uh, impressive, that the athleticism and agility that she shows there. Uh, yeah, I love Miss J. McKay. It is a fun horse for Christophe Clement. Um, there's nothing wrong with, uh, with enjoying that horse. If you wanted to pair her up with someone, we don't have the morning lines quite yet. She'll be out shortly. But who do you want to kind of pair her up like if, if you're an exotics player? Yeah, I mean, there's two really, really interesting horses here to me. A.G. Indy, who's going to be the seven horse, comes out of the Todd Pletcher barn for the second time. This was a successful turf sprinter in California who then tried the, the grade two inside info going seven furlongs on the dirt last time out and ran into four graces and Jakarta and just one time. Some very good horses. Has a lot of early pace. Should be able to be close to the lead. Um, if not on it, while being while trying to be able to be successful, has some numbers that kind of fit, but we just don't know uh, what we're going to be able to do over this Gulfstream turf. The other horse I think is really interesting here is La Liberté, the two horse uh, for the Mark Cassie barn. This horse was running in, uh, ran, had some success early on in his career down at Gulfstream, was able to win over this course going five furlongs and $75,000 optional, went into the Sanibel Island, which is this race except for, uh, for three-year-olds last year, um, and now is coming back here for the Olders as a four-year-old and taking back to the turf. This horse would need to take a step forward, but has the right style. And last time out, faced Lady Spear, who's a very, very good horse, Amalfi Coast two back, our secret agent, both of the last two. So it's been keeping good company up at Woodbine as well. So uh, I like Miss J. McKay on top, and I'm going to kind of sprinkle in some of what I'm going to call the more unknown horses here in this spot um, and, and go with the Pletcher horse in the seventh hole and La Liberté here breaking from the two spot. He's Mike Summers. That's race 10 at Gulfstream Park on Saturday, March 12th. If you're looking to play Tampa Bay Downs, it's their feature race of the entire meet, Lamb Home South Tampa Bay Derby Day. So if you want more thoughts on the Tampa Bay Derby itself, we've got the preview for you over at RacingDudes.com and also the late pick four sequence, which includes the, the Tampa Bay Derby. Mike Summers and I are covering that on the Magic Mike Show, so make sure you check that out. Wherever you download podcasts, just search for the Magic Mike Show and, of course, YouTube.com slash racing dudes hit like if you like the video hit subscribe if you really like it tell us below in the comments who's winning the captiva island we'll see you at the track 
This has been a presentation of RacingDudes.com, your destination for all things horse racing and sports betting. Whether you want free winners, expert insider picks, up-to-the-minute trackside weather reports, or podcasts and videos for bettors of all skill levels, never make another wager without visiting the Racing Dudes first. 